So, Chairman Rob has given me a very special challenge. He's asked me to come up with a Phoenix squad to tour India. So I accepted the challenge with immediate relish and got thinking about exactly who the best people were to take. So I then asked Rob, OK, what city? And what time of year? And this is what he said to me. Now, Henners, it's just a bit of fun. We're just having a laugh, mate. But you know what? If you're going to do a job properly, you should take it seriously, however fun it's supposed to be. So, in the end, I decided to keep things simple. We decided to go with Test instead of One Day in T20. And again, keeping things simple, we would follow the recent Australian tour of India, going to Nagpur, uh, New Delhi, Dharamsala, and Ahmedabad. So basically, cool, dry conditions with flat wickets that break up on the third, fourth, and fifth day. So, I then went and asked this fella, whose father is this fella. And he, surprisingly, doesn't know a vast amount of cricket. However, he does have family members who do, and they sent back to me the information that I needed. Do I need to favour out-and-out pace bowlers, or should I concentrate on swing? And how many spin bowlers should I take? Well, their knowledge was invaluable. They said, favour swing, take three spin bowlers, and make sure you have another one who can also bat, so an all-rounder if you have it. So, all told, this is my squad to take to India. Now, I'm allowed three opening batters, three middle-order batters, two all-rounders, two wicket-keepers, and eight bowlers, of which I decided to take three spinners and five seamers. So, first up, opening batters, and this, frankly, is the easy one. First up, Neil Jukes, a.k.a. The Wall. Two hundreds for the Phoenix last season, solid at the top, excellent opener. Next, I decided to be clever here. At the Phoenix, we have a vast number of all-rounders, so how to squeeze them all into the squad in case I need them? Well, up top here, I've got one of my openers and also one of the four spinners that I intend to take. So as an opener, I'm including Bikram Gurung. Now, Bickers is not only technically brilliant, but he also is really useful with his left arm off breaks, which are going to be particularly handy on those crumbling Indian pitches. And thirdly, well, I reached a bit of a stumbling block here. I was thinking, ooh, who's the other person that I take? And then I thought, Nimesh. He knows the territory. He's one of the most positive people in the Phoenix. But then I thought, well, all that equates to is really just a glorified water boy. And then I thought, well, I could also be a bit clever here. I could incorporate Richard Turnbull as the opener, who's also a wicketkeeper, which frees up another spot down in the wicketkeeping column. But I'm foiling you all. Of course, Alan Doyle, club captain and skipper on the field, is going to be that other opener I take. So there you have it. There's my three openers. Doyle and Jukes, who really sound like they should be a 70s crime-fighting squad like the Persuaders. Uh, the doiks. Those two and Bikram Gurung, those are my openers. So, moving on to my middle order, again, three choices, and the first one again is fairly logical. Steve Rose, club vice captain, he's my number three. Shut up! Then again, I've been a bit clever. I've included another all rounder, Rob Milford, club coach, excellent first 11 batsman, got another 100 last season, and also a really decent seam bowler, gets a bit of a way swing, picks up off the wicket. An obvious choice you would definitely want in your side. Third and final choice, I went for Yogi Leal, second 11 captain, and also scored a century last year. Doesn't drop anything in the field, so long as the ball is coming straight to him, and funnily enough, speaks 18 languages, of which English isn't one of them. Here we go, my all-rounders, of which I've got two to pick. First up, I went for a newcomer to the club. Bit of a curveball here, but I'm including Yam Thapa. Now, I faced Yam in the nets, and seriously, I couldn't get anything away off him. Every single delivery was in exactly the same place. Not much swing to speak of, but I couldn't get many runs anyway, and that's what you want in the middle of a game. Somebody to come on and keep the batsman pinned down. Also, I've never seen him get out either. Now, I may not have been watching the whole time, but blow me, it was disconcerting. So, my second choice for the all-rounders. Now, I could have included someone like Luke Hoggarth, who is a natural all-rounder, bowls a bit and bats a bit, but more on that later. 
I figured I'm going to need a substitute fielder. Just in case somebody gets injured during the game, they're always useful to have. And we have two fantastic fielders in the club, one of them who's going to hate me for calling him a substitute fielder, but nevertheless, that's what I need in this side. I've got either Adam Dukes or Kian Balkabind. Now, Adam is incredibly competitive and would be really annoyed if I left him out of the side. He charges after every ball, got a great arm, really athletic, and frankly, a good person to have. Kian, the decent thing about him, he's really mild-mannered, really easy to get on with, would be a great squad member, as would Adam. Kian has a bullet arm which comes in from the boundary, and honestly, his accuracy is unbelievable. So two really good fielders. And at the fear of being murdered if I don't pick him, I'm going to have to go with Adam Jukes. So they're my two all-rounders, Yam and Adam. So moving on to wicket keepers. Now, I've got two choices once again. The first one's an easy one. The first 11 keeper, Samira Samaratunga. Came to us in the middle of last year and is absolute dynamite behind the stumps. Second, well, this was a tricky choice and this is why I was thinking of taking Richard Turnbull as an opener. Because of course, there's Richard and then there's Ash Kanakamadala. Richard is an absolutely fantastic keeper, great to have behind the stunts, constantly talking to the bowlers, telling them what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, a perfect person to have there. Actually, would be a fantastic assistant manager if I needed one. And then you've got Ash, who's just a chipper fella, thinks himself Indian, actually more American, but just a lovely person to have, would be a great squad member to take. Ugh, who do I go for? It's really tricky. Here we go, curveball. I'm taking Claire Peacock. Claire is what the Phoenix is all about. She's positive, she's keen to learn, she's the women's first 11 captain, and frankly, she could do with a holiday. So yes, maybe if I was being serious, I'd take Richard Turnbull, but this is hypothetical. This is what Phoenix is all about. We're an all-inclusive club. We need to take as many different factions of the club as possible, so I'm taking Claire Peacock. Richard Turnbull can be my assistant manager, and Ash, Club mascot? So now, moving on to the bowlers. Eight of them to be precise, and I'm gonna start with the five seamers, specifically focusing on swing, considering that's what I was told. And I'm going to start off with, personally, who I think is the best swing bowler in the club, Bijan Roker. His control of the ball is absolutely fabulous. Swings it both ways, and the ball, and just the happiest guy in the club. Also, great game knowledge. Fantastic to have with you at either mid-on, mid-off, somebody that you can reference and talk about what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and what you should try, how the batsman is playing. Basically, he's my number one. Second up is Cam Khan. Now, Cam, as opposed to Beechan, is a true in-swing bowler. Really difficult to face, because like I was mentioning earlier with Yam, Cam can put it on a length constantly. Also, every now and then, throw in a really useful Yorker that catches you out. Third bowler, and actually very similar to Rob Milford, is Isaac Rawcliffe. Now, Isaac is a speedster, but he can also swing the ball. Early on in the innings, when the ball is nice and shiny, he can get movement away from the batter. And really, in a test match with a red ball, he could get some excellent movement away, and a little nick to the wicketkeeper is all the slips is all you need. Sir Isaac, number three. Fourthly, I couldn't leave out the Sandhurst bone crusher, Harrison Doyle, probably the quickest bowler in the club. We need a Mark Wood in the side, someone to come on after the ball has lost a bit of its shine, banging in at high speed and get those batsmen worried and playing erratic shots that they wouldn't necessarily play. Fifth, and again, I've been a little clever here, or cunning, or neither. I'm including Luke Hoggarth just in case that we have a T20 out there instead of a test match and need someone with a bit of firepower right in the middle and after his 127 off 50 or so balls, who else am I going to include other than Luke Hoggarth? Plus, he's got a nice bit of pace and again a little bit of a way swing that's really very useful to have if you're playing T20. So those are my five seamers, Bijan, Cam, Isaac, Harrison and Luke. So now finally on to my three spin bowlers. 
And first up, we've got Tom the Bomb Fryer, without question the club's highest wicking taker and best bowler last year. Initially came in as a batter, but then last year decided to hone his craft with regards to spin, and it worked to brilliant effect. His record, 7 for 26, is still standing and probably will stand at the end of this season. Although I'm going to try my best to get my record back. So Tom first up, a little bit of right arm off break, and again second up, another right arm off break. Baz. Every club needs a Baz, and especially with his wife Claire coming along, Baz has to come along just for a bit of a jolly, even if he doesn't play. Although Baz is a far better player than anyone will ever give him credit for. He says he doesn't know much about spin bowling, he literally comes over and turns his arm, but he has a great cricketing brain. Didn't show it in the quiz though. And my final pick to take on the Tour of India, and this is the biggest curveball. I have two right arm off breaks and one left arm off break. I needed something different, just something to have in the side that gave me an option in case those pitches were breaking up in different ways and could be useful to have. I'm going for James Abley. Right arm, leg spin. I played with James regularly last season. Some matches were better than others, but the matches that were great, he tied down the batters. They couldn't get him away at all. He puts that ball in the right place. He can do some real damage. Plus, as a batter, he can really bang the ball as well. The number of balls he lost in winter nets is just annoying. They cost money, those balls. So there you go, that is my hypothetical Phoenix tour to India. Up top, Alan Doyle, Neil Jukes, Bikram Garung. Middle order, Rob Milford, Steve Rose, Rosie and Yogi Leal. All-rounders, Yam and Adam Jukes. Wicket keepers, Samira and Claire Peacock. Spinners, Baz, Tom, Jabley. Bowlers, Bijan, Isaac, Cam, Harrison and Luke Hoggeth. See you next time. Come on the Phoenix. <coughs>